what up with the YouTube? It's your boy James. Um, I'm back again. I'm very disappointed um, about a lot of things that's going on in the WWE right now. Um, I'm right in front of my computer right now. About to show some footage of The Rock and the old Rock that I used to know and love, you know. Um, the WWE is putting on the worst shows I ever seen in my life. I watched Raw last night and it was just atrocious. And um, they got the big WrestleMania 29 coming up in a few weeks, and uh, it's just bad. Man, it's just bad to even want to watch WrestleMania 29. So I'm going to go ahead and try to play this video real quick. Yeah, this footage of the old rock, the rock that we used to know. You know what I'm saying? The rock that we all came to love and, and respect. You know what I'm saying? But I, as I sit here on this day, I'm asking, I'm asking the very simple question. Like, where is this rock? It's like the rock that we see today is a ghost. It's like he a ghost of himself. And I'm like, man, these were the glory days, man. The the days where the rock got you up out of your seat. But now we all know the rock is the WWE champion. We all know that he's facing John Cena at WrestleMania. And I come to think of to myself like Oh man, uh, it's so hard to cheer and not the root for this man, you know? Like, I find myself asking, why is he the WWE champion? I mean, like, don't get me wrong, The Rock was a phenomenal WWE champion in the Attitude Era. He really was. He was the top honcho. But I really think that The Rock doesn't belong in this era, you know? He's more of an era, he more of, he belongs more in the era with Stone Cold Steve Austin. And, and those guys, like, you know, him and Austin had chemistry, you know, but it's like, he has, he don't have that chemistry with John Cena that he had with Stone Cold Steve Austin. You know, John Cena is not Stone Cold Steve Austin now. You know, and it's so hard to get into this John Cena and Rock feud, like, you know, like when back in WrestleMania 17 when Austin took on The Rock, you knew it clicked right there, you knew the magic was right there, the magic was there when you, when you seen these two guys on TV, but now he's in this feud with John Cena and it makes no sense, you know, and it doesn't remind me of Stone Cold Steve Austin and The Rock, and I know a lot of people out there they 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 know it. It doesn't remind me of Steve Austin in the Rock in any kind of way. You know, I think John Cena more had more chemistry with Batista than the Rock. But I just think the Rock doesn't belong in this time. He doesn't belong in this era. He don't he doesn't belong in this day's WWE, and it's hurting him. He wanted to do so much for the WWE. Don't get me wrong, but don't tarnish your legacy, Rock. Don't tarnish what you made yourself back in the day. And let me get to the WWE Championship run that The Rock has been on. Okay, we all know The Rock won the WWE title at the Royal Rumble from CM Punk. Um, and uh, the WWE decided to put the belt on The Rock, I think, for business. For business, why? But this WWE title reign, compare this WWE title reign to... The WWE title reign he had in 2000 when he won the Backlash. Remember the Backlash 2000 match when Stone Cold Steve Austin came and helped him. And Pat Patterson then was out there getting their tail whooped by Steve Austin. And Linda McMahon brought Austin back in with the bus. That was the Rocks. Um, how can I say it? That was the reign of the Rock. And it really meant something. That title reign in 2000 really meant something. It was, he was champion. The Rock was the WWE champion. But as I look at it now, The Rock, he has the WWE title, but it's like, like he's a real WWE champion. 
you know, it's, it's like it's not like he's he's not defending his belt. When The Rock won that WWE title at Backlash 2000, The Rock was on every Raw, every SmackDown. I know The Rock done done it all the time, but you gotta ask yourself, Rock. It's WrestleMania season. It's WrestleMania, and The Rock know about WrestleMania. Because he had his outs with Steve Austin and 17, Hulk Hogan. And The Rock was there building the fuse up. And now we only got two weeks to go to WrestleMania. And I'm thinking like, what what kind of build up is is greatness versus redemption? You know, we already saw that match last year with John Cena going up against The Rock. And he lost. And John Cena supposedly had a... Bad 2012, but I don't see it that way. John Cena was in every main event, every show. He was winning some matches. He was losing some matches. But he he didn't really fail. And um, we see The Rock. He's out making his movies. And he's not on Raw. He's not on SmackDown. It's like he's holding the belt hostage. You know? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, whoever watched this video, you understand that The Rock brought the new WWE title in about three weeks ago. Okay. I think people want to see that title on TV. You know, I think the people want to see that new WWE title. You are you, supposed to have an obligation to the fans anyway. Okay, it's like if I go buy a new pair of sneakers, and then I get my new pair of sneakers, and I go get my new pair of sneakers away. You know, the fans is being robbed of seeing this new belt. The WWE title is not even on TV. I go buy me a new pair of Jordans. I go take my Jordans away for three weeks, and don't even and don't even um have my Jordans on my feet. You know. That's the way the WWE title scene. Like, it's being robbed away from it. It's brand new. And The Rock has this title in Hollywood somewhere filming a G.I. Joe movie. Let the fans be able to see this belt on TV. You know, he only had the belt on TV for about two weeks. And then he gone. You know, um, much as I respect The Rock and... I used to be a big rock fan, but I just think this rock in this era is not cutting it. You know, and another thing I want to get to. Uh, the rock, he used to have a bunch of good promos. As you see the one he doing now. Do you see the rock doing this now? Do you see that glare in his eye? Do you see the glare in his eye that he's looking at Kurt Angle in? He, let me turn it up for you a little bit. Okay, now, now you just saw that promo that The Rock just cut. The Rock don't even cut those promos no more. He'll come out, he'll talk about his car, he'll talk about the weather. He'll go to the ramp, wiggling his arms. He act like he don't know what to say anymore, you know? And that pisses me off because The Rock used to have some good promos back in the Attitude Era, as you just saw. You know, it's like... He, he's not captivating us no more. It's like all he had to give us is gone. You know? And I figure like this whole PG era has hurt The Rock's image a whole lot because he don't belong there with them. You know? And the wrestling was so good back then in the Attitude Era. If it, It's the long shot of what we see today. Raw was so boring last night. I wanted to fall asleep. And The Rock was nowhere to be found. It's like 
the WWE has put this belt on him, knowing he had a busy schedule and and he he's not even attending Raw and SmackDown on the road to WrestleMania. Look at the Rock. Look at the intensity. Look at the intensity in his eyes. He don't take it serious no more. If we saw this Rock going against John Cena. It would be no way that John Cena would be walking out of MetLife Stadium, the WWE Champion. And that's on the real. That's on the real. I remember that feud with Stone Cold Steve Austin at WrestleMania 17. When he, um, the build up to that match was awesome, man. You had Vince McMahon involved. You had Deborah in the storyline. You had Rikishi in the storyline. And, and then you had Vince McMahon turning his back on The Rock, screwing him. And right in Texas, Steve Austin holding that belt up. But I asked myself, what is WrestleMania 29 going to mean to the history and the legacy of WrestleMania? Is WrestleMania 29 going to be the worst WrestleMania ever? I don't know. But all I got to do is say this. I'll always be a fan of The Rock in the Attitude Era. But Rock in the PG era, you can't, you you don't got nothing on that Rock. I'm sorry, Rock, your time is over. Man, as much as I hate to say this, we lost the People's Champion, y'all. We lost the Brahma Bull. We lost the most electrifying man in all of sports entertainment. We lost, we lost the Jabroni beating, ah, uh, uh, pot eating, trailblazing, eyebrow raising, you know. We, might, we we lost the the greatness of the rock, the rock that went out there, the rock that told you to just bring it, the rock that rock bottomed you on your candy asses, the rock that got the millions involved, to the cookie puss, to the I don't know what my promos is, rock. And I hope you enjoyed my video. And rock, please, please, do the right thing for business. Come back to the WWE and try to do a good job for the next three weeks. Alright, subscribe.